A couple of months ago, I bought a Mac Studio. And the question is, is it fast enough to do Houdini work with? So in this video, I'll show you the difference between my Mac Studio and the PC. Let's go for it. So let's talk about the difference in size and design first. I mean, you've got a machine this small, so portable, it's very light, you can just bring it with you anywhere, compared to this heavy beast <laughs> can barely lift up. So this is how the specs compare. The Mac Studio is a base model M1 Ultra, and the PC is a i9 3080Ti with these respective specs. I tried to calculate the cost for the PC. As you can see, it's a little bit cheaper than the Mac Studio. So with that out of the way, let's compare these two different machines. It's fun that we even try to compare these two <laughs> different systems. The PC, I can't even get on the camera, that's how big it is. The Mac Studio fits in it easily. So first let's see how quick simulation is on the Mac Studio. I've prepared a sim, so I've imported a Mac Studio model. I've downloaded it on Sketchlab, so link in the description. And I've just put that in a points from volume. I copied it to points and I put that in an RDB solver. So let's run this on the Mac Studio and then on the PC and see how it compares in terms of speed. So that took about four minutes and 30 seconds. It got kind of stuck on the end, so that's definitely a bug to be aware of. But you can see it's quite a quick way of simulation. It's really not bad at all. And let's compare this now to the PC. So I just added a new file cache and let's hit cache. So the PC only took slightly over two and a half minutes. So that's a two minute kind of win. Uh, so that's definitely a lot of fast on the PC. All right, now let's compare these two systems in terms of render speed. So I brought the scene into Karma and uh, I added some lights and materials. And let's see how quickly these two systems render. I'm gonna hit Shift R to bring up Karma. And now you see the biggest downside of rendering on a Mac which is if we use Karma XPU, you can only use the CPU in XPU mode. So this is something SideFX has to update. They have to make Karma XPU available for the GPUs as well on the M1 system. I'm not sure how it works under the hood. So I feel by using Embry CPU, it's actually working on Rosetta instead of natively on an M1 as well. So it's a really, really under-optimized way of rendering. So if this is not the case, please drop it in the comments, but I feel that's how it is. And of course you're not using any GPU power. So <laughs> this is a very, very big trade-off. And this is actually the reason why I switched back to a PC personally. But let's see how quick it is. Let's keep it running and let's see what time we end up with. All right, so that just finished rendering and it took about 20 minutes and six seconds for this shot, which is like an obscene amount of time. So let's see if the PC can do it any quicker. Okay, so let's see just how much quicker this is to render on a PC. And now we can actually use our GPUs because obviously we're on Windows now and it's optimized for XPU. So we're using CPU and GPU after a bit of initialization. Let's see how quick this will render. All right, so that's finished in just under six minutes. So that's almost like a four times increase of what we got in the Mac Studio. Uh, I'll be really intrigued to see how much quicker things will get once XPU is actually made for the Mac Studio. Uh, but this is what we got for now. All right, so another thing we wanna compare then is how it compares to Karma CPU. So Karma XPU and CPU are not the same thing. It's not like if you use Karma XPU and it only uses the CPU, then it's the same as CPU. <laughs> They're like two different systems. Let's set this to CPU and see what we then get on the Mac Studio. All right, so that took seven minutes and 48 seconds, which is quite surprising. I actually thought Karma CPU would still be slower than Karma XPU only on the CPU. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this compares to the PC now. All right, and then lastly, let's check how quick this renders on Karma CPU on our PC. So the Windows CPU render came in just under seven minutes, which actually is quite comparable to the Mac Studio, which ended at seven minutes and 48 seconds, which is interesting because the simulation is quite a bit faster on the PC than the Mac Studio. So 
It almost seems like simulation uses a bit of GPU as well, but I'm not sure if that's the case, to be honest. Anyway, this is the result for the render. So that was it, just a quick overview of these two different systems. I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.